what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts yes i am now russian yes i am very russian i like vodka <laughs> anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man i'm here once again with another episode of god of high school man episode seven let's get it last episode we saw a lot it was a lot that was revealed stuff that i've been asking to be revealed and they finally did it did basically a lore dump but still not a lot of lore because that's there's still mysteries behind you know what's taking place why did they attack jin's grandfather like what's what, what's going on you know what i'm saying so there's still a little mystery they took out two of the administrator they took out the dude the announcer for the tournament and they took out q that surprised me a lot because Q was one, you know, dude that they had to hold back. So I'm guessing these dudes, these Knox dude, they are, they got it. Cause that dude that like, he pulled a sword out of heaven or something back, you know, with the grandfather, like what is going on? You know what I'm saying? They borrow powers from the gods, beasts, whatever the situation is like. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm totally excited to see it. Anyways, guys, we're just going to jump in to this reaction, man. Make sure you hit that like button now, always, man. Make sure to remember to leave a comment. You can comment during watching the videos, too, because finally on this channel, we're having cut up episodes for the channel. So I hope you guys are enjoying these, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, I love the interaction with the videos. Um, you know, you guys have been doing that over the years that I've been on YouTube. So keep it up, man. Hopefully I'm still, I still have a goal to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I know it's, you know what I'm saying? We've been growing very slowly, a little bit slower than, you know, I expect, but I still appreciate it nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? So we're, you know what I'm saying? We're getting up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, halfway through the year. By the time you guys see this video, we should be halfway through the year. And right now we're sitting at a little bit over 6,000 subscribers. Can we do a thousand by the end of the year? I think we can, um, but we'll see how things go. I just have to keep uploading and keep doing new things. And I have a bunch of new shows that is coming to the channel. Um, so hopefully guys look out for them and support them. Also, if th that's something that you watch, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Let's get to the reaction. I will see you guys at the end for the review. Let's go. Animal Force. Oh, so it's not like uh, everybody in the ring at the same time. So first team with two wins. Win. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> 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 
Is Q really dead? Oh, he's talking about... Working man's I'm done. Rice bag toss. <laughs> this man. He won't? I'm sorry guys and I'm gonna sound like a douchebag <laughs> I know I'm gonna sound like a douche saying this but this is probably the worst scenario that they could have chosen to teach whoever is watching this this kind of life lesson this is got probably the worst example I've ever seen in anime ever really dude first of all look at, first of all looking at this situation a 38 year old man even if you're gonna look at it from this perspective in the west right where you can go get you can go get your ged right which is fine a lot of people you know older they go back and they get their ged right and that's fine but going to an actual high school not college high school to go get your diploma and he's failing the entrance exam not even to <laughs> bruh first of all i don't know how many people in the world would actually go through something like this but in my opinion i think it's a very bad example of showing someone not to give up i don't think it's i don't think it's the greatest example Ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I think, I think they could have used a different scenario to show a grown ass 38 or 38 year old man not giving up. You get what I'm saying? To bring, to tie, and I think they're doing that just because they want to tie it into the whole high school thing or theme of the of the show and why he's involved in the tournament. But I think I, I just think it's like a, a I don't I think they could have done better. I don't know. Maybe that that's just me. And I feel really bad saying it because I don't want anybody to think that yo I'm looking down on this dude or anything like that. 
I just don't think it's a great example because how many times does this actually happen? It's not something that pretty much anybody that's watching this can relate to really, or to put myself in that situation. This is, that's hard. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just me. So she's gonna help him. Okay. I'm gonna pause again. It's not even about, because there's some people that they just can't grasp certain concepts and they're just, they just can't learn. And that's fine. I'm just saying, you get what I'm saying? That That is okay. I don't have nothing against people that you got to put them in the right situation for them to learn. It's just the whole, the way how they're um, picturing this and the way how, you, you get what I'm trying to say? It's just the way how they're putting this into context. It just, it's not hitting for me because I have nothing against people. It's obvious that he has a hard time picking up on, you know, problem solving and basically general things that, you would learn or you would do to enter into a high school like it's obvious that he struggles with that what i'm trying to say is 38 years old he's got a job is it wrong for me to say you don't need school you get what i'm trying to say like i get why he's doing it i really do but i'm saying that it's hard to relate to because most people who are his age are not looking to do something like this maybe go back to college but high school and, and worst off you really don't need a diploma to go to college if you're old enough to go and you can provide some sort of something you still got to go get your ged i get it but maybe they don't offer i want to say this because this is based in korea maybe in korea they don't have a program like a GED program, right? Maybe they don't outside of, you know, having a grown ass man in high school with high school kids. You get what I'm saying? Like, maybe that's the situation. Maybe they, maybe that's how it is there. You know what I'm saying? And, and maybe you do have to go back to high school and mingle with it and take the ridiculing and everything. Maybe you have to do that in Korea to, um, but I don't think it would be right though. To have, they must have something in, something in place in in everywhere that have some sort of civility. You know what I'm saying? Was I was, they, they have to have something. They can't have grown ass thirty year old man going to going to high school. You know what I'm saying? Like sitting in class with students. You know what I'm saying? 16, 17 years old. Like that's ridiculous. Come on now. That that's. <sighs> I don't know. I just can't relate to this. Like, I just think, I think, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, bro. But he's going to lose, though. That's the thing. <laughs>
Okay. I'm crazy, dude. Oh, they're from Knox. Yo. <laughs> so they got limiters, okay. I think they're saying Chakariki. What is this? Yo, 
Francesco. Why are you running? <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if he used to be one of the six. There's some dangerous people in this competition, man. Some dangerous people in this competition, like. That dude I, is the same dude that was with um, Fire Dude that saved the guy in the last episode. That dude, whatever he's summoning, I think it looks like a shark or something like that. I don't know what it is, but that's crazy. Alright, episode what seven? Shit is getting real, man. This shit is getting real. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I can't even... Um, <sighs> I can't even talk. Like, I don't know what to talk about in that episode. Because so many things happened. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? The fight between the commissioners... You know, I really thought Q was actually dead. Um, but I guess when you take off... I guess they, do, they wear limiters. I don't know why they wear limiters. But they're not allowed to do that as they get their pay get that like they gotta have permission to take off their limiters and i'm guessing the limiters hold them back like to go all out that's what i'm thinking so we'll see how things go but that was a pretty cool fight um not the best animation in my opinion like if i'm supposed to nitpick 
about the episode it wasn't the best animation for the fight i don't know it was i don't know if it was just too much going on it on the screen or they just cut it up too much it wasn't as fluid as when they are, are doing fights in the ring for sure so it was like it was kind of out there but i'm hoping that you know what i'm saying it wasn't that it was like a major fight it was great to see the visuals were great you know what i'm saying the coloring of that scene was really good i liked it but when it comes on to the things that went on in the ring we got mirror versus that girl it was like sword versus sword that was pretty cool to see <sighs> jin why do why do main characters just always have to come off so dumb and they just have these dumb reasons sometimes to fight it's just like i want to get stronger i just want to fight strong dudes man it's just like that's why i'm like it's very goku-esque and i and and it's one of the things that i absolutely don't like about dragon ball you know what i'm saying it's like oh the, the, i mean other than the fact that it has no stakes but it's clearly there are some stakes people could possibly die i don't know how the hell they're surviving some of these things i mean you just get chewed up in a in a, in, in a shark's mind and you're still living what kind of is like do, does the um i i can't say it guys okay i can't say chariki I, I think it's like chariki or something like that now it's it's i'm trying to pronounce it like how they pronounce it um but i'm clearly not getting it okay um so i'm wondering if that protects them also does it give them heightened defense as well as heightened offense that's what i'm thinking that it may may do something like that as well um but i'm pretty sure you guys maybe they'll clear that up in later episodes and help us to understand more about these powers um but i'm guessing it gives you advanced defense as well as offense um offensive and defensive you know what i'm saying like more bars <laughs> you know what i'm saying so we'll see how that goes but when it comes on to to jin it, it seems like jin's grandfather got hurt because they found his arm it looked like they found his arm somewhere out there so it looks like Knox messed him up somehow i don't know if they killed him because they didn't find his body they found an arm so maybe they want jin's grandfather for something you know maybe they want tejin for for something we just don't know what it is yet um he's obviously very powerful i'm also thinking that he may be one of the six or used to be one of the six Whatever the situation is, maybe he's the one that named um, Park Tiger Cub. We never know. They seem to be very interested in, in Tejin. Like, they know him personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we still have don't know much about the grandfather other than the fact that, you know, certain little, little thing from the beginning of the series where we saw that little clip of him with, with, um, with Jin Mori um i don't know i don't know but some great fights took in the ring as i said i said my piece about the construction worker like i i feel like they could have used a better example a better example of storytelling in that moment um but that's just me you don't have to feel the same way you might feel different you might have relate to it i just don't feel like majority of people can take that and run with it you know what i'm saying because the, sit the situation just seems so out there you know what i'm saying is it seemed very far-fetched that this would happen in real life you know what i mean um i'm pretty sure it's not a high percentage of people that's gonna go through something like that if it is even happening you know so i just think I, I just felt like it's a little far-fetched, a little bit out there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, that's a reach. You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt watching it. But when it came on to him competing in the ring, you know what I'm saying? He's unlocked his Chariki or whatever they call it. And he was fighting. But I knew he wasn't going to win that fight. I, I knew he wasn't going to win that fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, due to the fact that Jin already lost. If Han loses, we're out. So where do you go from there? You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm wondering if now that he's interrupted this last fight, if he's going to be suspended and can't fight. And I'm pretty sure that they're probably going to implement something where 
if they suspend him or if you know they're not going to disqualify the whole team because um i'm pretty sure they still want to keep these guys in the competition right so they're probably they're probably going to fight the next round at an handicap that's what i'm thinking that maybe they'll suspend him for like one or two fights or something of this sort. i don't know <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm just thinking you know ahead you know reading between the lines of how things have been going so far you know they gave Jin a second chance before him fighting a commissioner but maybe because this is a three on three they might let them fight the next round at a handicap where you know he's not fighting or he can't fight in the next round and they have to win their two matches so Mira has to win and Jin has to win their next match so th that's what I'm I'm I don't know <laughs> okay i don't know um it's just when it comes on to you know i, I don't like making predictions when it comes on to it because i always almost always i'm wrong <laughs> you know what i'm saying but due to the fact that certain things are happening and the way how things happen in this series and i've been watching it continuously like day after day i'm kind of not like waiting like a whole week to get back to the series and stuff like that so i'm kind of seeing certain patterns that are happening in the show that you know you can basically tell certain things that's going to happen as in you know anybody could predict that han is going to you know what i'm saying like he was going to win that match like he, he, he couldn't afford to lose and mira couldn't lose either because Jin fucked up the first match so, so what else do you expect to happen? But you know what I mean? So I expected both of them to win. Nonetheless, great fights. You know what I mean? So um, when it comes on to the next round, I'm pretty sure they're going to punish Han. There's no way he's going to get away with doing that because he did interrupt the fight. And once you enter that ring and it's not your turn, that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully they don't get disqualified. I'm hoping that that's not the case. As I said, Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. That is all I have to say about this episode. I will see you guys for the next one. Don't forget to like the video if you have not done so already. Of course, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you felt. Let me know how you felt about my comments about this 38-year-old 30 30 year duel. If you related to it, whatever the situation. If you want to cuss me out, cuss me out. You know, whatever the situation is, you can leave a comment about it. You know, I'm here. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace out.